of sheep is a Lincoln long wool. She clips a tremendous amount of wool. Big long locks, big heavy weight of fleece pulling on the skin. So see how it's there pulling on the skin? I've got to work around that with these because I don't want to slash those bits of skin that are pulled up. So we'll be just taking it nice and steady. I'm trying to keep the sheep nice and relaxed. Now, by taking this sheep away from all the other sheep, you know, the other sheep are this sheep's protection in that predator-prey situation. So that's why the job of shearing is such a major stress for them. It's not the fact that me doing a bit of gymnastics with them up here is a big stress. It's actually taking them away from all of their mates. That's the bit that they find so stressful. Come on, Bill. We're getting along just so well. You see that weight of wool dragging on that skin? Here's one of the places where it really shows and that's why I'm supporting the wool with every blow otherwise that skin gets dragged out and in between the blades and these things are wickedly sharp if they're not wickedly sharp the job just is even more difficult and the sheep quite protests about it even more than what they're doing now. Come on, Bill. Now, this bit, as we come from the front leg down towards the hind leg, clearing the side, I fold her up so that distance is compressed. Open the shears up, bang! And look at that. Look at how much I've just taken off. You can take an awful lot of wool off with one go. You can't go over there, mate. Working our way down now towards the long blows. Now, I then lay her down. I could go along the body of the sheep or I could go across the backbone. If I feel this sheep and she is a little bit down on body condition, some of the breeds are a little bit down naturally. This one, you can feel the lumps up on her shoulder and you can feel the backbone sticking up. If I go hurling round with these, 
I risk cutting that skin over the top of where those protrusions are. So on this one, what I'll do is I'll go round the sheep. Avoid those lumps and we're cutting over the top of them at 90 degrees. Coming over the backbone, over that shoulder blade where it sticks up on the other side. Once again being a bit careful because all that weight of fleece still falls on the skin even though we're trying to cut it from what's a safer direction. Come on Bill. Now once the fleece comes off this sheep, you see that she shines. Uh. The amount of the amount uh. of light that's reflecting off that wool is part uh. of what makes this breed uh. unique. She is a Lincoln long wool and their their fleece is classed as a luster uh. fleece. It reflects lots of light. And the little bits of wool that are left on her then reflect that light. A little tidy up, a little bit on the side of her nose. Be a bit careful around the ears. She wants to keep both of them, I'm sure. Bless her to the awkward. Love. This ain't no democracy around here, all right? easier and that's just a slightly smaller blade profile Coming down towards the leg, most of the bits around the legs aren't very flat, so I've got to change the angles that I work at and come towards the leg. See, I've come from there, I've come round and under the shoulder to try and keep away from the ball. It's very easy to cut them where the skin is over there. And now, coming down towards her armpit. Talk to any lady, she'll tell you how important it is to get the armpits clear. Don't want her going out looking like one of those continental birds, do we? Now just like, between the front and the back legs, I do the same again here. We 
using a lot smaller shear, but you can see we're taking it off much smoother. The difference in the shears. You can take off lots more with the big shears, but the finish is much better with the small shears as well. I come towards the top of the leg so I come across it so we don't cut that piece of skin which is between the leg and the body and then we're going to run out the top of the leg now it's very narrow very easy to pick up some skin so I turn the shear as I take the wool off the top of the leg Because this fleece is quite long on the sheet, as I get down towards the last of it, you pull it out from underneath where she's laid on it as she's moved around. That again pulls the skin out. We don't want to take the skin off, the sheet's quite attached to that. We just want the wool. One neatly shorn sheep. There we go.